Hello there, Myrna Loy again. Uh, this video is about, are you being you? <clears throat> Seems like a straightforward question, doesn't it? But it's not that straightforward at all, because we're indoctrinated all of our lives by people, by our parents, by our colleagues, and everybody's having a little chip at us, telling us how they want us to be, their expectations of us. And what ends up, and what ends up happening is that we don't really know who we are. Well, a lot of us don't. So if you grow up with very strict parents or if you grow up with um, colleagues who give you peer pressure or just generally your employers, even society itself, everybody's telling you what to do, who you should be like. Um, and we end up being not quite sure because everybody seems to have a vision of us except for ourselves now the way you know if you're really being you or being true to yourself is to ask yourself what do i really like if i didn't have to censor my words if i didn't have to worry about what people would think of me what would i really be like what would i be saying how would i be reacting to people if you if you could be your true self and you had to make choices and there was no repercussions whatsoever, who would you be with? What would you be saying? What would you be like? How would you be dressing? A lot of people who are quite radical or we call creative don't really give a toss about what people say about them or how they look. And you usually find that celebrities are a bit like that, but celebrities I like that because I think they have, a lot of them have been suppressed. A lot of them have had really challenging childhoods. So they feel that by expressing themselves in that way, they're rebelling and doing exactly what they want. And they believe that they're actually being true to themselves by being outrageous. But a lot of times they're not. They still have all of those insecurities that an ordinary person like you or me will have. And they're not really being true to themselves. I'm sure if they wanted to be true to themselves, I think a lot of times they just dress how they feel the public expect them to dress. They behave how the public expect them to dress, behave. And when you see things like celebrities go dating and these other celebrity um, reality shows, you realise that. They're, they've got more insecurities than the general Job, John public. And they're not really being true to themselves um, a lot of the time. So it's about when you're being true to yourself, what are you telling yourself when you wake up each morning? What are the messages that you're hearing? What are you obeying? Because a lot of us, we obey voices that aren't even, don't even have anything to do with how we truly feel about ourselves. We go to work, we're meant to conform, we have to be polite in order to get on with people. If we're in a meeting room and somebody frustrates us, we would like to say, look, get on your bike or I wish you'd shut up. But we can't say that, can we? So we're suppressing that side of us. Supposing we could say whatever we liked to whoever we liked. Would we like ourselves? Would we be nice people? So when you're being true to yourself, you have to analyze your motivations. Why do you behave the way you do? Why do you say what you say? Why are you with the person that you're with? Ask yourself these questions to see if you're being true to yourself. And if there was, if money was no object and you had every, and you could make any choice in the world, would you still be in the position you are now? Would you still make the same choices that you're making now? That's how you know whether or not you're true to yourself. So what you could do is but just imagine that you won five million pounds or say um, $750,000 or something. No, $750 million, yeah. Something as large as that. What choices would you make? What person would you be? Would you like the person that you are? Or wouldn't you care because you've got all this money, you're not accountable to anybody? The thing is, is that what's 
important even if we have money even if we could make the choices that we can make regardless of thinking about anybody else we should really treat others how we would like to be treated so it's no point going on a rampage and running up your mouth with everybody and saying oh you're this and you're that and I don't need you and blah 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 because you don't know if that 750,000 is 750 million is going to done you don't know what's going to happen the next day you don't know if there's going to be an earthquake and everything you have is going to be swallowed up you don't know so you have to kind of is regard you see it's a kind of a two-edged sword on the one hand the per there's two parts of us isn't there there's the devil and there's the angel everybody has two parts in them we have the good side and we have the bad side and the good is constantly battling with the bad uh, we are inherently good people but because we battle with the sinister and the dark side of us we're not quite sure who we are and sometimes because we suppress the bad side the good side seems as though we're being false to ourselves and maybe we're not I don't know but I just wanted to put it out there you know ask yourself the question am I being true to myself because you really need to be you really need to be authentic because that is how people will know who you are that's all for now bye bye